Today, we're turning red. The first thing I'm going to do when I start my picture is to think about composition. Composition is how I'm going to arrange all of the elements in the picture. In the case of this picture, I'm going to use the rule of thirds. In the rule of third, I'm going to have one character or one important element close to this corner and close to this corner. So it means that in the rule of third, I'm going to use one of the, one of the corners to put my most important elements. In this case, I'm going to use here and here to put my main elements. So in here, I'm going to draw the faces of the main characters. So in this point, I'm going to draw the red panda. This is all for now. I'm just going to mark where the character is going to be. I will turn for main lead. I like this composition, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete my characters a little bit more. In this point, it's important to mention that everything in these characters is made to be very simple. All of the shapes that you're going to see are just simple circles, simple rectangles or simple cylinders. So everything is going to be thinking about simplicity in these kind of characters. Your nose is going to be over here in, in the bottom of the circle that I do for the face. All of the, the shapes in these characters are going to be very simple and also using big shapes. So if you see, for example, this pin is a bigger pin than it should normally be, but all of the characters are made so that they are simple to draw with as few shapes and as few simple shapes as possible. In this character, you're not going to find any super complex shapes, just simple ovals, just simple circles, with Melee, I want to be more precise because I wanted the panda to be kind of fast in different parts, but with her, I want her to be really sharp with the edges. Being from Pixar, the characters in this movie are quite different from what you would expect for a Disney character. But if you want to learn more how to draw Disney characters, you can watch this video that teaches exactly that. Now that all of my colors are in place, I'm going to use one of my favorite tricks, which is to duplicate the layer, make it darker, and then erase some, light, some parts to create a base shading. As I'm doing my initial shading, I am making sure that I think about how these shapes would refer to simple shapes, like for example, cylinders, like for example, spheres, and I shade them all using those ideas. So instead of going from light to dark like people norm normally do i normally go from dark to light which is the way normally light works it is always a good idea to have a good combination of some sharp and some fuzzy parts in your picture Dep depending on the picture you will need sharper parts or fuzzier parts. In the case of this panda, I'm going to need a lot of fuzzy parts because of his hair, but also I'm going to need some sharper parts in her face, but especially in her mouth. 